The flute you found. You said it belonged to your daughter. I carved it for her as a gift. She enjoyed playing and was skilled with it. There was a song she would play. One I used to remember every note of. But no longer. Brother, if you mean to recount the story of the day you were tricked into killing your wife and daughter, you don't have to. You've told that story before. We know how it ends. You needn't relive it. Hmm. That's not the story our flute brings to mind, is it? No. Oh, I'm back again. Still not used to that. Well done, Kratos. I have one last weapon to show you. I think you'll enjoy it, if that's the word. Stop, Kratos. I yield. Mm. Hard fought. Let's see what your mind has worked out. When the evils of the box were purged, what remained was hope which you chose to release back to the world. Yes. After everything, you came back full circle to sacrificing yourself. My death would have been just, but it was not to be. Yes, you lived, and hope still lived inside you, from that day to this one. One might say you brought hope back to these realms after a long slumber. Box or no box, Kratos. Hope and fear and love and hate exist in every one of us. The question is, which will you choose to let guide your actions? Each choice we make shapes our world. Mm. I see the truth of it. And? I believe I am ready to walk through that door. Excellent. myself in service.
use everything and everyone. There's to be enough left inside so that I do not become you. I do not know. But I have hope. It's like I missed everything. Did you find what you needed? Hmm. Glad to hear it, brother. Well done here, then. So, uh, what now? No. Well done, General. I had no doubt you would see this through to the end. Congratulations. I hope Valhalla gave you everything. Look who's need. returning from the front gate for once. Something must have happened in there. I take it this Raya, is a good. I will join you. I will try to be what the people need. Good. I'm very pleased to hear that. And that you found what you needed here. I could not have done so without my friends. I am grateful. Valhalla is at your disposal, Kratos. If you have more you wish to work out, now or later, we will heed the call. Shield Maiden. A gift. You're breaking free from conventions. Don't stop now. I'll tell you the next part of my story now, if you'll listen. I am listening. Last thing I told you was that I'd become an apprentice to a mage healer of renown. I learned much from her, not just about the healing arts, but about how to live a complete life, a whole life, true to yourself. She was like a mother to me, which made it all the more painful when she too fell ill. It was the same illness that had taken my father. This time would be different. It was my chance to apply everything she taught me to try and save her. Anyway, I think that's a good place to pause my story. Glad to see you back, Kratos. Perhaps you are finding a truth similar to the one I discovered so long ago. That as we desire to project peace in the world, 
becomes necessary to honor and satisfy the fighter within it. Valhalla remains available to you as you need it. As do I. I will see you soon, Tyr. I do not doubt it. As I was saying about my old master and his lofty so-called romantic ideals, we'd settled in a forest outside of Athens, a place well situated to observing the comings and goings of the Duke's other guests. There we observe the romantic complications of some local use, and Oberon gets it into his head to intervene, bids me fetch him a magical flower that can manipulate the affections of others. Supposedly, the idea was to nobly help true love prevail over the pressure of family arrangements. But what he really wanted was to use the flower to torment his own wife. I see why you left his service. Aye. Brother, while I'd love to say I left Oberon's service as a matter of principle, the truth is, it was much more a question of pride. If he'd simply shown me more appreciation, who knows how long I might have tolerated his evils. I certainly tolerated plenty from my subsequent employers before I could take no more. If I'm being honest, I was only too happy to offer my complicity in Queen Titania's humiliation. What did you do? I caused her to fall in love with something preposterous. Mumia, the day my family died was not the last time I saw Calliope. I had journeyed to the underworld to rescue Helios. When I arrived, I heard Calliope's song on the wind and found her in the field of Elysium. It had been long since I felt such joy. But it was another chick of the guards. It wasn't her. Worse. It was. The goddess of the underworld wished to destroy all of creation, Elysium included. She knew that for me to stand against her meant leaving Calliope behind forever. So, I pushed my goddess away again, all while she cried and begged me not to. I thought you might be back. There's always something more worth working out in the mine, isn't there? Happy to oblige. Stop, Kratos. I yield. Very well. Another fine showing, worthy of your new title. Until we see each other again, stay safe. I think Valhalla has something for you. Air. This boon is yours. A mind that can adapt thrives amid chaos. Finding order within the storm. I can continue my story now. Go on. If you'll remember, my teacher had fallen ill. Everything she taught me, I poured into trying to save her. But it turned out mage healing wasn't enough. I realized that only a combination of mage healing and herbal traditions could save her. But I'd let my knowledge of the herbal arts fade away. And so, I failed her like I failed him. And she passed into Hell's embrace. It took a long time to get over that. Anyway, I'll stop here for now. Hmm. Seeker and love, what's the latest on Midgard? Life returns at last. After the Hellwalker desolation was followed by Fimble Winter, I wondered if people would ever come out of hiding, or if there were any left to. But flowers bloom, the sun shines, and it's safe to travel the roads and rivers again. No one even seems to mind the giant serpent sunning himself across the mountaintops. Glad to hear it. Jormungandr's a big softy when you get to know him. And now that things aren't quite so desperate, raider attacks have declined. It's progress. The old man.
master. He had you make his wife fall in love with another. Aye, temporarily, by use of this magic flower. Though now it's clear to me the flower's effect isn't exactly, but a kind of obsessive devotion that is too often mistaken for love. So, of course, the queen made a fool of herself, as did all those under the flower's spell that night. Don't know how I ever got embroiled in such a farce. You are wiser now. I think so. Though that only makes up for so much past stupidity. Kratos, you mentioned a half-brother. Hercules. Mm. He too was a son of Zeus. More like me than I care to admit. A powerful warrior, yes. But driven by an uncontrollable rage. He was jealous of me. Thought I was Zeus's favorite. So, when the gods tasked him with twelve labors, he gave himself a thirteenth. Killing me. Instead, you took his life. Do you regret it? No. He was dangerous. He wanted to be god of war for every reason but the right one. Good. Credit to you for knowing the difference. Brother, the choice you were given? To stay in Elysium with your daughter only to perish? Sounds like no choice at all. Of course it was a choice. One I wished many times I'd made differently. How so? When I left Greece, Calliope was never far from my mind. I do not know how much time we would have had together in Elysium, but I would have traded the decades that followed for mere hours with her. It took meeting Faye for that feeling to go away, along with Calliope's song. But I do still think of her in Elysium. And hope she found peace. Valhalla's compliments, General. Shield made it. A blessing. Mastery comes when passion and purpose are in harmony. No? I'd like to finish my story for you now. Continue. As you recall. I failed my teacher, and wasn't able to save her life. I'd let my aversion to my father's traditions stop me from being able to adapt to circumstances. After that, I spent many winters reconstructing his teachings, integrating them into my arsenal. I realized how important it was for me to practice techniques that don't come easy to me, or even ones I have every reason to hate and reject. Because then, then I'm armed for everything. Then I can adapt to whatever life throws at me. Anyway, that's my story. Thank you, Air. I understand. 